That's Allah, His gift. What else? Al Jumu'atu ila al Jumu'a. One Jumu'a to another Jumu'a, the same thing. Oh, the, the minor sins gone. Al Umratu ila al Umrah. One Umrah to another Umrah. Don't you feel? I need to turn to Allah. Here comes a Friday. Do you come to the masjid on time? Are you enjoying it? Or are you always in a rush? Last one in, first one out. Subhanallah. Connect yourself a little bit more. Yes, if you have reason, you need to go. You have some perhaps work, something happened. No problem. But at least you enjoy coming to the house of Allah. You prepare. Some of us, no preparation whatsoever. Oh, by the way, it's Jumah. Oh, I didn't even realize. If that happens once or twice in your life, it's a bad sign, but it's okay if it's human error, human forgetfulness, but not every Jumu'ah. You're a believer. You look forward to the Jumu'ah. Wednesday you say, inshallah, two more days. Thursday you say, hey, tonight, night, eve of Jumu'ah, let's prepare. That's a mu'min. That's a believer. MashaAllah, tabarakallah, may Allah accept us. Ramadan clocks in, you see the moon. Wallahi, a believer can feel the difference even in the food. MashaAllah. A believer feels the difference. Within a few moments, you are in Salatul Taraweeh. The entire atmosphere has changed, but only for the believers. Have you felt it? If the answer is yes, good news to you. There is Iman in your heart. May Allah help us to strengthen it. Dhul Hijjah has just set in. The moon was just sighted. MashaAllah. Do you feel we are in the 10 most blessed days of the entire year? More blessed than the days of Ramadan. Did you know that? Right now, we are in days that are more blessed in Ramadan from a certain angle. What is it? You might say, no man, come on, Ramadan different. Ramadan, the nights are the most powerful. Dhul Hijjah, the days are more powerful. Difference. You see the difference? Laylatul Qadr is a night of decree. The most powerful night in the whole year as mu'mini. The last 10 nights of Ramadan, most powerful. But the days, first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. You see the difference? Nights, Ramadan. Days, first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. So what do you do in these days? Well, you do as much ibadah as you can. What is it? You try to fast for the first 9 days. The 10th day is the... Eid, haram to fast on the day of Eid. Ayyamu tashriqi, ayyamu aklin wa shurbin wa dhikrin lillah. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu tells us those days of tashriq, they are the days of eating and drinking and remembering Allah. Notice how he says eating and drinking and remembering Allah. He doesn't say eating and drinking, enjoying and forgetting Allah. No. You eat and drink on the day of Eid, but guess what? There's an extra salah that you fulfill. Closeness to Allah. Takbirat, more on that day. Closeness to Allah. Oh Allah, I thank you for giving me this joyous day. This is why we say when people are getting married and there's joy and happiness, Allah is giving you that happiness. Do not displease Allah ever. On the day that He gave you as joy to celebrate, be it the days of Eid, or the days of your nikah, or what else it may be in terms of goodness, a Friday, or whatever else it may be. It's a day of Eid. If it is a day of Eid, do not displease Allah. Not like you're allowed to displease Him elsewhere, but you need to be more careful. And look at Shaitan's trap. He comes to us on those particular days and makes us dress inappropriately, go to inappropriate places, listen to inappropriate things, do inappropriate things, because we think, oh, Ramadan, I had so much of sabr. This is the day of Eid. Eid for who? For Allah or for Shaitan? May Allah grant us ease. So during these 10 days, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu says, مَا مِنْ أَيَّامٍ الْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحُ فِيهِنَّ أَحَبَّ إِلَى اللَّهِ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْعَشْرِ there are no days. Notice we are using the term days, not the nights. We, it's referring to the entire 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. But the hadith is specific by saying there are no days in which good deeds are more loved by Allah than these 10 days. Which are the 10 days? 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. 
And the verse of the Quran in Surah Al-Fajr make mention of the 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. The term used is Layalin Ashr. You know when you travel somewhere and someone says, how many days did you stay for? You say, I stayed for 10 nights. What are you talking about? You're talking about 10 days, right or wrong? Because they calculate the payment of the hotels by nights. You're using the term nights. But in actual fact, you stayed for 10 days. Do you agree? Allah Almighty says, وَالْفَجُرْ وَلَيَالٍ عَشُرْ وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتُرْ I'm sure you've heard these verses so many times. Allah is the only one allowed to take an oath by things He's created. We are not allowed to take an oath by anyone or anything besides Allah. Allah takes an oath by Al-Fajr, the dawn. And then He takes an oath by the 10 days of the Hijjah. And He refers to them as Layalin Ash. Why? Because of the greatness. Allah does not take a qasam by anything unless there is greatness to it. My brothers, my sisters, seek the forgiveness of Allah in these days. Seeking the forgiveness is one of the biggest acts of worship you can engage in because if you are forgiven, you're granted entry into Jannah. But it comes hand in hand with changing your life. Watch what you say because what you say can eradicate the good deeds you've done. Watch your mouth. Don't say unnecessary things. Don't hurt and harm and slander and backbite. Sometimes your life will turn upside down in a matter of time because of words you've uttered. Allah protect us. My brothers, my sisters, dhikr of Allah, the remembrance of Allah, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, la ilaha illallah, allahu akbar, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. This should be increased during these days. You might ask me how many times? Hundred times and more a day. We don't want to specify a number. Each one on his own level. If we tell you exactly this number, what if someone doesn't have so much of time or energy or they might not be that pious? We are telling you even if you read it once, twice, come on, it's a start. See the power of it. Look at what it does for you. More than anything, learn the meaning of it before you start. Praise be to Allah. Glory be to Allah. Allah is the greatest. No might, no power except that of Allah. Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. Lord of the worlds. And we're repeating these beautiful words. Allah loves good deeds the most in these days. If the hadith is telling you, Kalimatani khafifatani ala lisani, thaqilatani fil mizani, habibatani ila rahmani, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al azim. There are two words that you say that are very heavy on the scale, very light on the tongue, very loved by Allah. They are glory be to Allah, praise be to Allah, subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanallah al azim. Allah the greatest. If these words are most loved by Allah and most heavy on the scale on any ordinary day, what about inside these 10 days? Don't you think they'll change your life by the qudra and power of Allah if you say it sincerely? Pick up the Quran and do the tilawa and the recitation of the Quran. More so now, try to finish the Quran in these 8-9 days that are remaining. Finish it. Why not? Make an effort. Your life will change. Don't you want to change your life? People are struggling with everything, but they don't want the real solution. They want worldly solutions. You ask a brother, I'm suffering. Why? I lost my job. Brother, your spiritual job you lost when you abandoned Salah. Totally, but that didn't bother you. That to you is not a worry. In reality, a mu'min, if you ask him, how are you? He says, I'm totally stressed because I missed one salah. Then you're talking business. But who says that today? Have you ever heard anyone when you ask them, how's things? MashaAllah, people may say, Alhamdulillah, that's the correct answer. But if there is a complaint, what do they complain about? They complain about how something worldly is missing. And they don't complain about how something spiritual is gone. May Allah Almighty strengthen all of us. So these are the blessed days. These are beautiful days. I could go on and on, but this is only the first five mils that we are giving. I pray that Allah strengthen me to begin with. Make me a better person. Forgive my shortcomings. 
and make us such that we earn Jannatul Firdaus in the companionship of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And I pray exactly the same and more for all of you and all of us as an ummah. May Allah increase our love, our mahabba. May we strengthen together and may we stand up for the ummah together. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. so much for listening to the short message i pray that it has increased you in a little bit of motivation and hope and the same applies to all of us jazakumullah khair assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh